Welcome to Material Chef, preparing the most influential materials for your delectation. For hundreds of years we have benefited from the deep rich colours and the sense of clarity that has been offered to us by this wonderful product. Glass, it's held our drinks and kept out the rain, its qualities are much desired. Glass has been used for wine glasses. Borosilicate glass is great at resisting the effects of temperature changes. It is perfect for deflagration jars. Can be shaped into long-necked lab flasks. Floated over molten tin to make flat window panes. Or shaped into a lens which will magnify or focus light into a camera. The ingredients to make glass are easily obtained. Take some quartz sand, silica, found in abundance on our beaches and in mounds in the desert. To make your own glass, you need to mix this with some sodium carbonate. Kitchen soda crystals will do here. Mix the two together well. Place a pinch of the mix into a small heat-proof dish. Use your blowtorch to heat the ingredients to over 1,400 degrees. The sodium reduces the melting point of the mixture, so they melt together. Allow the taster sample to cool. You can see that we have formed a small bead of hard glass. Though this is far from perfect, and not exactly transparent. The silica in the sand is made up of silicon and oxygen atoms, forming a repeating crystal structure. The sodium is absorbed into the structure, breaking some of the bonds, making it easier to melt and making it harder for the material to form a crystal as it cools. Instead, it forms a disordered structure, a bit like a liquid that has gone solid. This, unimaginatively, is known as glass. With careful preparation, we can turn an opaque powder into a clear solid and use it to keep the rain out while letting light pass freely through. To summarise how the glass works with temperature, basically if it's too cold, you can't work it because it's too stiff, you can't manipulate it enough. If it's too hot, it's too runny, you can't gather enough out. So the right temperature means you can gather it, shape it, blow it, reheat it, warm it and actually make something. One of the really exciting things you can do with glass is you can add other ingredients and create coloured glass. Just off the top of my head, if you use cobalt and add that to glass, you'll make a really vivid blue. Iron oxide will give you a greeny blue. Gold will give you the reds, the yellows. There's lots and lots of elements you can add to change it. But of course, once we have the colours, then we can add them and play with the glass and create all sorts of things. Tune in next week to satisfy your insatiable appetite for knowledge and tuck into what makes the materials we use just so special. With the Material Chef, brought to you by the Naked Scientist.